It was on March 2nd, 1948, when white residents would wage a terror campaign to intimidate the black registered voters in Johnson County, Georgia. So the place was Wrightsville in Johnson County on March 2nd, 1948. It was the eve of the primary elections. On that day, at least 300 or more men and women of the Ku Klux Klan would gather in the town center. Now, this group of white nationalists would gather. They'd have speeches that would incite racial violence, and they even had a cross burn in the middle of the town city courthouse. Now, Wrightville only had 1,500 black residents. 400 of them were registered to vote, and this event was meant to intimidate those 400 registered voters. And guess what? It worked. Not one black voter would make it to the polls. They didn't have to worry about poll taxes. They didn't have to worry about guessing how many jelly beans was in the jar, nor did they have to guess how many seeds were in the watermelon. In this instance, it was unchecked racialized violence that would disenfranchise the only 400 black registered voters. Now today in Georgia, there's no threats of being lynched. It's just a threat of being arrested for handing out water. 